Hi and welcome to this quick overview of WebNE apps. So when you install WebNE, there's going to be a few pre-installed applications you're going to find. Um, those applications are the page builder, form builder, and headless CMS. There's also a file manager, which I'm going to show in this demo. Uh, now I'm going to do a quick intro to each of these applications. I'm going to start with the form builder. Um, essentially, you can use the form builder app to build any type of forms for lead generation, sales, and things like that. Uh, for this demo, I'm gonna, gonna do a contact us form. So let's press create. In the interface, I have a few predefined fields, fields I can use, uh, as well as I can add a custom field. Let's do a quick form with first name, last name, and an email. Uh, you can also edit the field, add additional settings to it. Uh, for example, I want to make this field required. I can also preview my form, how it looks. The validation is already working. There's other options in there, but for this demo, I'm going to keep it short and just publish this page, this form. So once we have our form, we can go into the next application, which is the page builder. Page builder is essentially a drag and drop editor that allows you to quickly build landing pages, uh, but it also supports uh, categories as well as a way to define uh, menus. Uh, we're gonna focus on building a demo page. Uh, so let's do, pick a category and let's create our new page. Once in page builder, so, Essentially, a page is made out of blocks. Uh, if you click the green button here, you'll have the option to select an empty block or WebNE comes with many predefined blocks that we can use. Um, for this demo, let's use this block, for example. What I wanna do here is, let's say, replace this image uh, with our contact us form. So I'm gonna delete the element and add a new element, which is gonna be our form contact us and let's revision now our form is in the page uh, we can also add images and many other bits to the page so let's do a new row for example and let's actually split it into columns again just want to make it like this let's add our image here um, so let's do a single image this is where the file manager shows. So any input, file input in the system, regardless if it's in the page builder or any other application or an, an application that you might build. If you need an input field, the file manager application will automatically uh, be available for you to use. And through the file manager, you can then upload images, files, sort them, search them and do many other things. Also, like if you have an image, we will automatically do the thumbnail resizing and all other bits, but there's also an image editor you can crop and uh, resize, rotate, apply filters and so on. So for this demo, I'm just gonna select this image. And once selected, it's gonna appear in my editor and I can again resize it. Um, once I'm happy with my page, I can quickly preview it, or in this case, I just wanna publish it. Great. Um, I can also preview the page from here. And there is our page. Uh, once back in the list of pages, we can see that we got one revision of our page. From that revision, we can create new ones. Pages that have multiple revisions, you can go back and uh, republish the older ones. It just keeps a whole record of changes that have happened on the page. And a final application I wanna show you is our headless CMS. Headless CMS has many options uh, from aliases, multiple environments, access tokens. Uh, there's a GraphQL play playground in there. Uh, but I'm just gonna do a quick overview here. Um, and I'm gonna show you how you can uh, create a new content model. So let's call this content model uh, demo post. Let's say we want to have a content model that has a title. 
some type of a description. And again, let's add an image. You can also preview how the input form is going to look like for that. There's some other options in there, but for now, let's just save this. Once it's saved, we can view our content. Of course, it's a new content model, so there won't be any records. So let's add our first record. Let's add a file to it. Great. So we can save this as a draft version. If it's uh, in the draft state, then you can still edit it inside the same revision. So you can see here it's a draft. But if I save and publish, it's going to say here it's published. I'm going to have the single revision. I'm going to have the single revision under the list of revisions. If I create a new version, it's going to go into the draft. And again, I can go back and forward uh, in, in time when it comes to revisions, very similar to the page editor. Uh, besides that, under the API information here, you can access the uh, headless CMS uh, GraphQL playground. So let's, for example, just quickly load this one just to show you the schema there. So as you create new content models, uh, you will get list and get uh, queries automatically added to the schema for them. And that's how you would access your newly co created content. Well, that was it. That was a quick overview of some of the Webin applications. There's a lot of optimizations that Webin does behind the scene automatically for, for you. For example, like the server side rendering in Page Builder. Uh, there's also more advanced things like uh, management of database connections, which we do through our database proxy function, just so we don't overwhelm your database, which is a known problem when it comes to Lambda functions, and many, many other pitfalls uh, that, that come with serverless. Well, WebNU just kind of uh, removes them for you, and your applications can scale and handle pretty much any load you throw at it. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the WebNU applications.